Hello everybody, welcome back youtube.com slash geekloud for another Let's Install. Today, Minecraft Legends onto a PlayStation 5. I'll note this is part of the PlayStation Plus subscription, so make sure you add it to your library as well as the other two games that are available. Uh, once we've added Minecraft Legends, of course we'll hit download. We will download the PS5 version. It's telling us there it's 7.3 gigs saying it's added but what i'll also note while we're here is make sure you add the other two titles for the playstation plus monthly uh subscription to your library at any point in future like they're only available to claim this month but any point in future you want to play them so long as your subscription is active you should definitely add them to your library so they are always available so long as your subscription is active so that's immortals of avium the install for that's back a couple on the channel check that out uh and the third one for this month is skull that's right skull uh, we will add it to the library. We can see there it is two gigs, but that's not the install we're doing today. Of course, today we are doing Minecraft Legends. Let's pull up the downloads list. I can tell you it is 7.291 gigabytes to download. Let's check out some gameplay footage now and then we'll dive into the settings menu. Hello, everybody. Excellent. If you want the golems to stop following you, use your banner again to ask them to stop. I hope you enjoyed that quick look at gameplay. Minecraft Legends installed onto the PlayStation 5. Let's boot it on up now, find that settings menu and make any recommendations. As you can see here, we have successfully signed in to our Xbox account on our PlayStation 5. I'll be very interested to see if our progress carries over. Uh, let's go with the skull boy for now. Close, thanks. Campaign? Can we continue campaign? Nope, new game only. All right then, progress does not carry over. But let's dive on into the settings now for Minecraft Legends and check it out. Uh, as I said, we've already linked to the account. Enable crossplay, yes, please. Uh, matchmaking region, Australia, mate. Uh, allow joining in progress games on and credits. That's it for account. What does the accessibility have for us? We have switching the square and triangle buttons. Warp hotbar on. Uh, text to speech off, no thanks. Video press to skip cinematic on. Uh, color blindness, I don't uh, suffer from it, but if you do, there is the option to change it. What's audio got for us? Uh, subtitles off, English, English, and everything at 100, that all checks out. Video brightness and contrast, I'll leave it default as I've got the studio lights on, but definitely time to set it up for yourself. What have they done with DualSense? Uh, camera sensitivity, 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 invert axis, no, but if you want to invert your sticks, there it is. Uh, banner view toggle mode, build view toggle mode, sprint toggle mode on, yes thanks. Auto luring, we'll leave that off. Controller curse sensitivity on auto cam return. I'll leave it off uh, by default, but good to know we can do it. Perfect, controller map, they've nailed this. Uh, standard buttons, all there. Uh, that is, okay, yeah, of course, all the different play modes. But that is it. That is all the settings available in Minecraft Legends. So let's bounce back to the X ah, Xbox. Nope. It's a PlayStation 5 dashboard. Pull up the particulars. And we'll wrap up this here. Let's install. I can tell you Minecraft Legends is currently version 1.013.000. And that is a full and complete install size of 10.87 gigabytes. Thank you very much for watching. And the Let's Install right here on Geek Aloud. We also do the Gaming Enforcement Agency. That's our video games podcast. And I encourage you to check one out. What else can you do with Geek Aloud? Like it. Subscribe it. You'll never miss it.